Hey guys, how are we all doing today? Today we'll be watching A Clockwork Orange. Now, this is a Stanley Kubrick film, and yeah, I got a lot of suggestions in the comments to check this movie out, and it stars a young Malcolm McDowell. So, I know in my class today when I was at university, we were on about A Clockwork Orange, and we were on about how, they were on about how it was banned from the UK for... A number of years. Apparently, this movie is messed up. It's crazy, and um, yeah, and Stanley Kubrick directed it. So I do believe in the idea that it's crazy because he's he, he was the director. Now I don't know if this was based on a book. I don't know. I don't, I'm just assuming it's. I have no idea what it's about. I just know that it stars Malcolm McDowell, and there's a scene where his eyes are kept wide open, and he has to watch weird shit. That's all I know from this movie. I know this is a classic and um, came out the same year as Willy Wonka, you know. So it was a good year. I wasn't around then, as you can tell. But um, yeah, I am excited and nervous to check this out because why was it banned in the UK? Was it because we're that much of a pussy and we can't handle intense um, cinema? Or, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I am so ready to check this out. Stanley Kubrick Films. Okay, the other film I haven't watched is... Um, 2000, or is it one... <laughs> you guys are going to fucking kill me now. 2000 or 1000 Space Odyssey? I haven't seen that one either. I, I thought... I know. <laughs> I know. I got the title wrong. It's 2000 or 1000. Or is it 10,000? I don't... <laughs> don't laugh at me, okay? I, I've obviously seen The Shining. I've seen... Um, from El Jacket, I've seen, um, I, I have seen, okay, I, I'm not really a Stanley Kubrick fan then, I guess, I've only seen two movies <laughs> out of his filmography, but um, this is the next film that I have to watch, and that is A Clockwork Orange, and I assume this is a horror movie, or is it a serious thriller, or is it a fucking comedy, I have no clue. But, um, yeah, let's get balls deep in this movie and see what happens. And um, if you guys are interested, you can watch the full-length reaction to this on my Patreon, where you can watch full-length reactions to all the movies and TV show episodes I watch on Patreon. So movies like this, I did watch The Shining, I did watch Halloween, I watched The Exorcist 1 and 3, and, move and TV shows like um, Hannibal, Breaking Bad, Dexter, True Detective, and Chucky. And yeah, enough talking out my arse without further ado. That's my fucking deal, boys and girls. Three, two, one, go. Red. Is my screen supposed to be red right now? <laughs> oh, okay. Warner Brothers. But more especially when he was real old like this one was. <laughs> Go on, do me in, you bastard cowards. We don't want to live anyway. It's no law and order anymore. It's a sticky word because it lets the young get onto the old. Right, you go. <laughs> So it's like a gang of like young guys beating people up pretty much. Getting ready to perform a little of the old in out, in out on a weepy young divotchka they had there. Oh my god, you can see everything. They use this music when Hannibal was getting his ass beat by Jack. I remember that in season three. Oh fuck! I can't show you this on YouTube. <laughs> There's no fucking way. Thou globby bottle of cheap, stinking chip oil! Come and get one in the yarbles. If you have any yarbles, you eunuch jelly, thou. <laughs> eunuch jelly. <laughs> It's like a pro wrestling match. 
by God Almighty. Wow, the girl escaped. What we were after now was the old surprise visit. That was a real kick, and good for laughs and lashings of the old ultra-violent. Looks like this was filmed in England. Looks like, anyway. <laughs> they look like like little Batman like villains like like those easy villains you can beat up like in a video game. I don't know like that, when they dressed up like that, like Joker's like henchmen. That doesn't look comfortable at all. Can you imagine sitting in there? I'm sorry, but we don't usually let strangers in. <laughs> <laughs> Rape her right in front of him. She says something about a pain somewhere, hence not at school, yes? Yeah. A rather intolerable pain in the head, brother, sir. Very extreme nastiness, yes. A few of a certain Billy Boy's friends were ambulanced off late, yes. yes. Your name was mentioned. The words got through to me by the usual channel. Certain friends of yours were named also. One man in this sore and sick community who wants to save you from yourself. <laughs> That's why I'm warning you, little Alex, to keep your handsome young proboscis out of the dirt. Do I make myself clear? As an unmudded lake, sir. Uh, uh. What's happened to yours, my little sister? <laughs> it's a bit limp. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you getting, Freddy? What you got back home, little sister, to play your fuzzy warbles on? Trumpets and devil trombones. You are invited. <laughs> the blonde one is very happy about that. <laughs> Why is this funny? <laughs> I don't. Even the music's been. <laughs> is the, the speed of the music has increased as well. So there's no law and order. There's gangs like this, just causing mayhem. Jim has his mindless, grinning bulldog. But suddenly I vidded that thinking was for the gloopy ones. Expecting a lot worse, to be honest, like a stab through the neck or something. I had not put into any of Jim's main cables. Well, Georgie boy, this idea of yours for tonight. Tell us all about it then. Not tonight. Come, come, Georgie boy. You're a big, strong Chelovec like us so all. So condescending. <laughs> We're not little children, are we, Georgie boy? And it's full up with like gold and silver. Jewels. Tell me more, Georgie boy. Tell me more. The wallpaper, these posters, and these paintings, that they're all so strange. I suppose you can't be blamed for being suspicious with so many scoundrels and don't, rogues of the night. Don't feel bad. I'll uh, don't try feel and get bad. Out of the pub then. The young man rang the bell asking to use the telephone. He said there'd been some kind of accident. Small lady. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi there. At last we meet. Our brief govry through the letter O was not, shall we say, satisfactory. That's a cock, I just realised. Oh my god. 
Naughty, 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 <laughs> you filthy old sunker. I just realized I was a cock. Leave the hell alone, don't touch it! It's a very important work of art! It's just, it's the music as well. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh dear. Where's the blood? Can't say I feel sorry for him. <laughs> Richard. Well, that cake looks very nice. Ah, oh, this creep. <laughs> you are now a murderer, little Alex. Uh, oh, my God. And from this moment, you'll address all prison officers as sir. Name? Alexander de Large, sir. Sentence! 14 years, sir. Crime? Murder, sir. Oh, the way he smiled after that. Fucking prick. It's like, murder. You are now 6 double five, three, two, one. One packet of cigarettes. Cigarettes. Two plastic ball pens. One black, one red. Red. I like how, I like how the guy speaks. It's like we're back in class again. <laughs> Being kicked and toll chopped by brutal warders and meeting leering oh, criminals yeah. and perverts ready to dribble all over. Oh, that guy is terrifying. I bet this makes him even worse. I read all about the scourging and the crowning with thorns. And I could vidy myself, helping in, and even taking charge of the tolchocking and the nailing in. Being dressed in the height of Roman That's fashion. his dream. <laughs> How about putting me in for this new treatment, Father? You are referring to the Ludovico technique. I don't know what it's called, Father. The Ludovico technique. All I know that it gets you out quickly and makes sure you never get back in again. I only know I want to be good. Be patient, my son. I'm curious to know what Alex was like when he was young. What did he go through? Because he must have experienced some things, why, which explains why he was like this. But I could be wrong. It's a classic nature versus nurture argument, isn't it? Punishment means nothing to them. You can see that. They enjoy their so-called punishment. You're absolutely right, sir. Shut up, leading hole! Who said that? I did, sir. What crime did you commit? The accidental killing of a person, sir. He brutally murdered a woman, sir, in furtherance of theft. Fourteen years, sir! <laughs> Excellent. He'll do. This vicious young hoodlum will be transformed out of all recognition. Thank you very much for this chance, sir. Let's hope you make the most of it, my boy. Right. Good, my office. Thank you. <laughs> the moral of the story is talking gets you places. It'd be grossly unjust, eh? Sir. Shut the door, filthy hole, you scum! You are to be reformed. Tomorrow you will Good go work. to this man, Brodsky. Answer the governor, ask you a question! Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I've done my best here. I really have, sir. I'm very grateful to all concerned, I love sir. the guy the moustache. I think he's brilliant. Don't be excited! <laughs> it's 
says that you are willing to have the residue of your sentence commuted to submission to the Ludovico treatment. Is that where his eyes go, like, make his eyes go wide open? I don't know. I was bound up in a straitjacket, and McGulliver was strapped to a headrest with light wires running away from it. If I was to be a free young Malchik again in a fortnight's time, I would put up with much in the meantime, oh my brothers. Question is, is it going to work? What kind of movies or whatever they want to show? I tried to forget this, concentrating on the next film, which jumped right away on a young Devochka, who was being given the old in out, in out. First by one Malchik. Uh, get me up. I want to be sick. Get something for me to be sick in. Very soon now, the drug will cause the subject to experience a death-like paralysis, together with deep feelings of terror. You see, when we're healthy, we respond to the presence of the hateful with fear and nausea. By this time tomorrow, you'll be healthier still. I don't think it's gonna work. How do they know if he's cured or not? And be cheerful about it. In less than a fortnight now, you will be a free man. Ugh. That probably made him even more fucked up, to be honest with you. Can you imagine? Can you imagine, like, because prisons are overflow, aren't they? Can you imagine? This is the new way. <laughs> they start doing experiments like this. As decent a lad as you would meet on a May morning. What a change is here, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, today is an historic moment. The problem of criminal violence is soon to be a thing of the past. But enough of words. Action that sounds very naive. Then. Action now. Well, you must think I'm awfully stupid. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to start something, if you want to start, well, you just go ahead. Go on. Please do. That's how you're going to test if it worked. Oh, you listen like to me. Joe Pesci from Goodfellas in this angle. If you want to get up, well, I want you to lick it. Go on. Lick it. And turn the like joy of battle into a feeling I was going to snuff it. Thank you very much. That will do very well. Doesn't seem very sophisticated. <laughs> oh no, what's next? <laughs> Look at the guys with the moustache. Look at his face. <laughs> oh my god. He, has, he hasn't seen a woman in two years. Well, like, a woman like I in two years, so. Uh. Enough. Uh, thank you very much. The intention to act violently is accompanied by strong feelings of physical distress. To counter these, the subject has to switch to a diametrically opposed attitude. The boy has no real choice, has he? Self-interest. We're not concerned with motives, with a higher ethics. We are concerned only with cutting down crime. But there's going to be a backfire for that, isn't it? Very pleased to see you again. And um, all cured too, eh? That's right, Dad. <laughs> they did a great job on me. I'm completely reformed. Are you? Well. I smell baloney. Same old place then, eh? That's Joe. He, uh, he lives here now. The lodger. He rents your room. <sighs> Oh dear. Now that's going to piss him off. How do you do, Joe? Find the room comfortable, do you? No complaints. No complaints. I've heard about you. I know what you've done. Nice sideburns. So you're back, eh? You're back to make life a misery for your lovely parents once more, is that it? 
let me be more like a son to them than like a lodger. Yo, yo. Mmm, <coughs> that is messed up. So every time he tries to do something violent or whatever, he's gonna start feeling sick. Is he uh, doing a job? A contract it is, two years. Uh, and we made like an arrangement. Well, it wouldn't be fair now or right, I mean, for me to go off and leave you two to the tender mercies of this young monster. <laughs> Let him learn the errors of his way. That a bad boy like his being doesn't deserve such a good mum and dad as he's had. <laughs> now look what you're gonna do to your mother. <laughs> You won't ever biddy me no more. I'll make me own way. Thank you very much. Let it lie heavy on your consciences. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. Um, I don't know what he expects, to be honest. But at the same time, I feel kind of bad for him. But well, I don't. It's not. I don't feel. I feel pity. Not even that, though. The guy's always laughing. To be fair, he was right, twat to them. Taking that treatment for the worst thing he's ever done. Every time, <laughs> weird sound effects. This is his first day back as well. Oh my god. Are they sit in the exact same place? What is it? He's Police. Re He's recognised you. Ghastly, horrible police. They beat me up, sir. Isn't it your picture in the newspapers? Didn't I see you on the video this morning? Are you not the poor victim of this horrible new technique? Julian, draw a bath for this young man. Certainly, Frank. Thank you very much, sir. Fun is revenge. God yeah. bless you, sir. <laughs> what an experience, boys and girls. He was singing that before. He looks pissed. That looks like fucking Clark Kent. Look at him. The 70s hair, though. <laughs> Try the wine. Okay. She was very badly raped, you see. We were assaulted by a gang of vicious young hoodlums in this house, in this very room you are sitting in now. I was left a helpless cripple, but for her, the agony was too great. We are interested in your case. We want to help you. Thank you very much, sir. Well, shall we uh, get down to it? The way he's looking fine, at him. Fine, sir. Look looking at him. I can't see much in the future. And I feel that any second, something terrible is going to happen to me. Well done, Frank. Julian. Was it the wine? Uh, 
Well. And what I had wanted to do. And that was to do myself in. I would do the same thing to be fair. Watch him survive that now, boy. He's broke his legs or something. Yeah, what I tell you? I Casts I everywhere. came back to life after a long black, black gap of what might have been a million years. Hello. The naughty doctor and the busy nurse. We shall see to everything. A good job on a good salary. What job and how much? You must have an interesting job at a salary which you would regard as adequate. It is no secret that this government has lost a lot of popularity because of you, my boy. There are some who think that at the next election we shall be out. You can be instrumental in changing the public's verdict. Do you understand, Alex? Um, I don't think I'll ever listen to Singing in the Rain the same again. Um, I have to digest that. I might have to take a break. Maybe have something to drink. <laughs> Not alcohol, but probably for the best if I do. And I'll come back and give my thoughts because... That was an experience. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I can see why so many of you want me to watch this movie. Stanley Kubrick and this. Those the cinematography. I'm just all the basic things first. The cinematography. How it's shot. It's very Kubrick. Um. I don't get the time or where this is set. I'm not really sure. Is it? it doesn't really look like how the houses did look and the way the police station looked, the way all these places look, the interior of the places as well. It seemed like some like maybe dystopian kind of what the future is because in the beginning it's, it's the idea that law and order is it's a it's, it, it's, it's a mess, and there's gangs all over the place committing horrible things, and they're getting, they're getting away with it, and they have, there's no control over crime. And it gets to the point where the government comes with this experiment, this treatment, in a way to reform like crime, to a way to put an end to this, or lower the, the stats. And... Um, Alex is a skinny pig in a sense. <sighs> the movie is a strange, strange movie. But I never... I'll say this. There was no gleeful moments during this. Uh, it's a very... Not somber, but... Very uneasy, uncomfortable kind of movie. And Kubrick is a god at doing that, isn't he? He, he, did, he did that with The Shining as well, and... He knows how to make you uncomfortable. The story of this is just captivating. The way people speak as well, I, I'm not really familiar with it. You can tell it's a shot in Britain, though, and they had British actors. That ending, though, is just it's just crazy. The only reason he's doing all this is because all the, the, the public um, backlash of this um, treatment and the, the, the photos are taken, you know... The, uh, because of the election, the upcoming election, it's just, it's a, it's a movie where there's no, it, what's the positive message of this movie? <laughs> it's, um, but the whole idea of trying to control his impulses and when you try to punch that guy, I think his name's Joe, 
Um, he just felt sick, and um, but even though he was treated, treated, um, everyone had this concept of like eye for an eye. You know, uh, he had these old people trying to beat them up, beat him up, kind of the same way his gang did to that old guy who survived in the beginning, who asked for some money at first. And even though he gave him the money, he realized who he was and had him and his other old homeless people to beat him up. And the big shock, not the big shock, but the, the, the eye opening was when the two police officers were two, the two of the former gang men that Alex ruled over and showed, you know, he was the leader of. And it's just, there's so many things that I'm thinking about. I just don't know how to express it. And um, th- there is some. It's not a bloody movie. It isn't. It's there's a lot of nudity, a lot of lot of lot of tits, a lot of fudge, a lot, lot of lot of cock. <laughs> but that that scene when he tries when he's finding that woman who has all those cats and he's using the cock, and <laughs> it's just the prison scenes and Malcolm McDowell was brilliant in this. He, I, I, if I if I had to play this character. It would be a great undertaking because you can tell he's been through some shit though when he was younger. He was that creepy guy, by the way, Mister Deltoid. Grabbed his cut. Yes, like who the fuck is that? Who the who the fuck? Is <laughs> Does he work with the police? And there's many questions I have of this movie, but it's a captivating movie. Came out in seventy one. And I don't feel like it's set during that time. I think it's set in this futuristic world where crime has gone crazy, and and that's that's how they try to tackle it. And uh, and I'm, I won't be surprised if they actually try to treat people, treat criminals in this way back in, back in, you know in history by making them watch all these horrible things and uh, trying to say this is bad and making. I won't be surprised. Like this treatment, is it was it all from Kubrick or was it just something like that actually was that tried it was actually used before, trying to treat criminals or whatever. Hmm. Yeah. It was. It was definitely a weird experience. The beginning was, cra- you know, it doesn't like you get. There's no slow burn. It just jumps right into it with um. The pan out shot of McDowell, uh, character McDowell's character, and as he his narration in this movie, and there's a part where you don't feel sorry for him, but you kind of pity him because all the things he's done kind of bites him, bites him in the arse after he takes the treatment, and he hasn't he had no idea what was going to happen to him. He just took it anyway, willingly, because he saw the idea of him being of, of being free in a fortnight. So hey, I'm going to do whatever it takes, but. You can tell he regrets it. And that scene when his parents are like, hey, Joe's paying monthly here. You got no space here. Like, I didn't, I, I didn't know how to feel. I, I felt everything. Like, I felt kind of bad, but I didn't feel bad because all the things he's done. He's, he's a fucked up person, as Alex Guy is. But the idea of, of I think the, the big message is punishment. How do you punish someone who's committed horrible things like Alex? Do you just put him in a prison with, with other people who's committed the same things and let him constantly re-enter and go back in there? And because you know, them being back on the streets, it's a very—I think there's a, a statistic where redemption and them, them realizing what they've done was wrong. It's not very high. Many people go back there in their lifetime who have already been there in the first place. I could be wrong on that, criminologist or whatever you, you study this, let me know in the comments. But um so this idea of this treatment, it, it's a very fascinating story. And how it bites them in the arse and publicly they everyone's there's a massive backlash, so they treat him well and give him a nice job and good salary and treat him like his own king and and obviously they publicize it by having the reporters there and <laughs> I think it's set in England a little bit. It kind of reminded me a little bit of V for Vendetta in certain aspects. But, um, yeah. It's it's one of those movies that kind of leaves you speechless a little bit. 
and I, I don't really, I don't quite understand the point of the movie. Only the basic part of it, but maybe because it's my first time watching it, maybe, I think that's normal. I think more time I get to watch it because it is one of those movies I might rewatch because it's so such a weird fucking shit show experience. Uh, maybe I'll get used to the meaning of it, but from what I got of it, it's crime, the idea of impulse acting on impulse because that's what Alex says he's acting on on, on his own impulse. Like I'm, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and he doesn't see any barriers and see oh no the war no he doesn't care about that, and once. And when his gang members turn on him and things just go downhill for him. And it's the idea of reforms, you know, crime reforms. Is he going to, what is the true method to turn one person who commits all these things? Because he's a naturally, he's a bad dude. At least from what we've got from here. How, how, do, you ref, how do you treat that person? Is it, is it through the prison method of, Make him read the Bible and make him do all these things and with the idea of redemption and forgiveness, or do you just have him be treated in that way, <laughs> which obviously didn't work? Um, it is a that's a fascinating message, but I wonder, I wonder what you guys think. Um, I, my guts, my guts tell me this is based on a book, but I'm not hundred percent sure. This might be, might be based on a book, but if if it is. You guys tell me in the comments because you guys are very informative. You guys let me know certain things that I kind of not understand, which I really do appreciate because this is a very unique movie. But I I did enjoy it for how different it was. And uh, the performances were great. There were certain moments where I was like, okay, that's that's weird. Um, the dude in the wheelchair, when he realized it was him, the one who was rape, raping his... I assume it was his wife in front of him. And uh, was he a cripple at first? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He was a cripple because of them. Um, And at first, I think he was... Like, he was trying to use him for a political agenda, like like, like what the guy said, to, to in a way, stick it to the government. And then when he realised, you know, he was, sing he was singing that song, wasn't he? And it kind of like triggered him, didn't he? And that's why that, there was that weird low angle shot of him just going crazy. And he wanted to torture him by playing that song. And the way he was looking at him was very, very weird and intense. And I'm still trying to work out who the fuck is that Daltoy guy. That guy is weird. Very weird. The way he was looking at him and when he spat at him. Like, my ay ay. My ay ay. But yeah, when it comes to Stanley Kubrick movies... Um, <laughs> it definitely fits in with the pack but I haven't seen that many Stanley Kubrick movies uh, that 2000 Space Odyssey one I need to watch that as well but yeah that was my reaction to A Clockwork Orange and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this reaction with me being mind boggled <laughs> and if you want to watch the following free reactions you can have my Patreon where you can watch following free reactions to all the movies and TV show episodes I watch on Patreon and I will see you guys next time and have a good day